All right, so we just had a little overview of the five steps, and now we're ready to actually make a, a photo story or a, a video presentation here using all the um, images that we want. So um, uh, before I even start that, though, I want to bring to your attention that at every step of the way while you're making this uh, photo story presentation, there's always a link that takes you to the help menu. It says learn more about editing your pictures. If you click on that uh, throughout the, uh, pr uh, the five steps, you'll open up uh, the help menu, the help section, where you can navigate to um, important uh, topics um, that'll help you make the presentation, just like any help menu. So I'm going to close that. And uh, so now we want to import pictures. So the very first thing you do, though, is go accumulate, find your pictures wherever they are on your computer or on the web, and put them all in one folder on your computer so that you know where that folder is. Okay. So then you click on the Import Pictures button. And when you do, you have this dialog box open up. And uh, on the left-hand side are the folders that you can navigate to. Okay, So I'm going to click on this folder, which is where I'm holding uh, my photos right now. And so the photos appear on the left-hand side of this dialog box. But I want you to uh, be aware that uh, when those photos show up, if you have the view menu, or the view mode in detail or list, list mode, then you're going to see the titles of the photos and not the actual images themselves. So you may want to go up to this uh, uh, view menu, click on the little arrow and pick thumbnail so that you can see the images you're choosing. So now that I've done that, I'm going to grab or I'm actually I'm going to select a few of these photos. I'm going to hit the uh, press on the control key. So the control key is down and now I'm going to select whichever photos I want for this uh, photo story. Okay, I've got the ones selected uh, that I want. I'm going to click OK. And those uh, five photos are, are now imported into Photo Story. Notice they're all down here with their thumbnails. And as I click on the thumbnail, uh, that, that photo appears in the viewfinder. So this bottom thumbnail row is called a, a storyboard. And here's where you uh, choose the arrangement of the, of the pictures. Notice this first picture is a uh, gaseous nebulous cloud out in the universe, and I don't want that to be the first picture. So all I have to do is highlight it, grab it, and move it over to where I want it to be. I've just moved it into the second position. Or I can grab it and bring it all the way to the end of the, uh, of the storyboard. Okay, so now I've moved that picture to the fifth position. And so all you have to do is grab these and move them around uh, in the order that you want. But you, you can also use these arrows over here on the right uh, by highlighting a picture, selecting it, and then clicking on the arrow pointing to the right. The picture moves one position over to the right, clicking uh, um, uh, the arrow to the left. Now the picture is moved over uh, one position over to the left. Okay, so now that you've imported them, you put them uh, in the arrangement that you want. Um, you still have a few more options. You can rotate these pictures. Notice these option buttons over here. If I click on the rotate to the left, the whole picture will rotate to the left. And in this case, I, of course, don't want that, so I'm going to rotate it back to the right and put it right side up. But you can rotate them if you want. Another option that you have is cropping the pictures. And cropping a picture means you select an area of the picture that you want uh, to take up the entire screen, and the area that you don't select of the picture is discarded or removed. I'll show you right here by clicking on the edit uh, button. You uh, open up an edit uh, dialog box, click on the crop option, and what happens is a box appears, a bounding box, where you see the picture in full color inside the box, but outside the box the picture is dulled out or grayed out well, the dull or grayed out area is what will be discarded, and the area of the picture inside the box is what remains, and that's what cropping is. So we're cropping out the outer edges and leaving just the shuttle craft itself. So I'm going to click on Save now, and then I'm going to click on Close, and now look at the picture. It's, it's a close-up picture 
of the shuttlecraft itself and the outside uh, edges are removed because I cropped it. But let's say, oh, uh, that's not what I want. It's not, uh, it's not um, irreversible. I can click on edit and just uncheck the crop box and now the entire picture will show up again. Okay, so you can play with this. If any picture that you want to crop, you can just go into the edit function and play around with different uh, um, crop options that you have here. Here it is cropped in a bigger, bigger space. Uh, we'll click on save, click on close, and now it's cropped uh, differently. You can do this to all your pictures if you want. So now that you've arranged them and cropped them, if you need to, then you can go on to step two, which is adding titles.